Hello and welcome to the inside of the Mark 1 Freeman name Tintin. She's been painted outside, which you'll have seen from the first video, is a very, very good paint job. The decks could probably do with a retouch now, but the hull and top side are in incredible condition. But for this video, let's concentrate on the inside. I'm going to climb over into the boat. <coughs> let's start right at the back of the boat. We've got, <coughs> excuse me, and just behind the helms, the seating out area, you've got an array of spare ropes cloths and fenders, buckets and more washing gear there, a nice bench seat, or I suppose summer berth across the back there. Heading down the port side, you see you've got the batteries are under here, um, some storage down here, the helm seat, nice high up helm seat giving you excellent vision while driving along. And that's I was going to ask the view out of the front, but it depends where you are in the rivers as to what the view is. But that's the sort of um, vista you get, shall I say, as you're driving along. Very original steering wheel. Love old things. Um, and then you move on to the dashboard. Underneath will be the fuses and switches. And down below, which we'll take a picture of in a moment, will be the engine. A few nice touches here. I've got tinted on the side there. Um, the... Woodwork in the, in the cockpit here is very, very good. There's a little bit of varnish you need to doing up here, but otherwise, uh, one of the best ones I've seen. Let's drop down now into the cabin. Again, the doors are well varnished, well looked after. Oops, one step down into the cabin. Just turning round, and we'll start at the stern and then work round clockwise. That's the entrance there. Moving over here, your engine's under there. I'll lift the bunk up in a second. Or if you visit, visit the pictures on the Apollo dot, you'll see them there. Above the bunk, oh, sorry, the seating area is two locking cabinets with glasses in there. These all come with a sail. Above the Tintin cushion, we've got some more mugs and more glasses in there and room for wine bottles. I'll just come out a bit slightly. You can see the roof. Another mention of Tintin there, as indeed here. The curtains have got lovely stainless steel tie backs in the corners there, a very nice touch. The head the headlining in this has actually been done, it's very unusual to find headlining in a, in a Freeman, they're normally painted fiberglass, but this one's got benefits from headlining. New lights, now as I come back onto here and the cushions, um, these, this top bit here pulls out um, to match up with the table, the table then drops down. And you've got an infill cushion, which is on the bed at the front there, to make this into a double. So it actually sleeps four, five if you want to put somebody outside. Let's move into the front, where it drops down a bit. Another little window there. To the port side, you've got a wardrobe, currently with life jackets, which again are included in the sale. Everything on board the boat you see is included in the sale. Now this unclips double and bolts into there to separate the two cabins off for a little bit of privacy in the front. It also forms, if you want it to, one of the bulkheads for the toilet. There's the toilet, I'm going to get this right, it's got a bifold door, the toilet will clip over here, we'll step back a bit and make the toilet more, more private. Let's pull that door back towards the stern of the boat when I go into there. You've got some ladders for the back of the boat in case someone falls in. And there you've got your pump out toilet. I'm just going to check in a moment and make sure it does pump out and not it's not a sea toilet. You've also got Tintin keeping an eye on you there, just to make sure you're not, not going against the law and doing anything in there you shouldn't be. Right, now I'll uh, pull that door to and clip it up. And we've got the galley. Plenty of storage under the galley in three lockers, one, two, and a third one there. Underneath, let's just move the, the dump protection you've got a nice sink and you've got cold running water once the engine is going I'll just push that down and move the items across um, the kettle now under here you have a two burner hob um, let me just hold that for a second let me get that click in place there two burner hob and behind a small bolt here you've got a nice grill as well so beans on toast is not a problem. 
All right, let's just drop that back down again. Little locking through there, click, and that's down. Again, lovely stainless steel tie backs and very new curtains, I would say. A little pelmet up here, which is nice. And finally, let's swing down here, lift this cushion, and you can see the engine. A little bit of damage to the front of that cushion, but that's um, only a small sewing job and at the back as well. Probably wants a new button on that. But um, if you give us a call or come and visit the boat, we can always go through some suggestions of as to where you could have that done. Underneath there is a three cylinder diesel. I don't recognize the make of that, but I will look it up in a moment. But that's the benefit. Normally they have petrol engines, um, which although are quieter, they um, you can't buy petrol on the broads. So having it having diesel, which is available everywhere on the broads, is a much better idea. Close that down. Go back into the half cockpit. Just put tinting over there. Oops. And as I should have mentioned before, with it being a diesel engine, it benefits from a single lever control here, uh, Morse control for want a better word. So if you lift it up, you've got tick over and forward and faster. And if you go backwards, you've got the reverse. You've got tick over in reverse and faster. Much easier than having the twin lever. Normally they have a big gear lever down here and then a small throttle up here where someone's taking it off, as you can see. And that makes a vast difference to the boat. Okay, thank you for looking. Uh, for any more information, you can either visit Apollo Duck or give us a call on 01692 581 653 and she's currently lying at Sutton State Bay. Thank you for looking. Bye-bye.